thanks for watching this is ronald gee welcome to my channel and today we're looking at solid state drives so we're looking at the west digital i think it's the model sn850x nvme internal solid state drive and looks like the speeds up up to 7300 uh, megabytes per second so these were on sale on amazon for about i think 80 bucks and they're i think all this week and first week of march they've been pretty cheap so I, I bought a sd card enclosure as well that i can mount it like a flash drive so if you're like me you probably have tons of uh flash drives like these laying around and my problem is trying to find a file it's like okay which flash drive has that data i'm looking for and then i went to one of these uh last year uh it's like a, like a portable ssd drive usb-c and that was pretty cool too. And but the only problem was this is like a 120 gigabyte. So here with this one, we have a one terabyte. So let's take a look. Let's put this together and see how it looks like. I'm gonna try to mount it to my um, Android phone, my Google Pixel, to see if that works. So let's get this open. It should be plug and play. My only regret was not waiting a little bit longer because Amazon, I think Amazon had this model going for maybe about 60 bucks, 59.99. And I paid almost a hundred on this one. So that was unfortunate. So let's get this open. It looks pretty clean. Perfect. I don't know if I can zoom in on that. Perfect, perfect. And let's, Take a look at the SD card reader here. Feels pretty heavy, pretty sturdy. I really should get a box opener for these things because it's always a hassle with the tape. All right, look, let's see what we got. So this brand is from Uni. And it's an SSD enclosure, external enclosure. So this should be compatible with the SSD drive we got here. So what's in the box, a little manual. Looks like a USB-C to USB-C cable. And we have the device. Feels pretty solid, pretty heavy, pretty metallic-like. I like the feel of it. Looks good. Let's see what we have here. Looks like a USB-C port, an LED light, and nothing else. So let's see, arrow points up, pointing up here. Looks like, okay. So what's this? Is this extra? Not sure. But you know, we're IT, so we don't read the manuals, but it looks like we have a point placed right here to uh, insert our SSD drive. So let's go ahead and slide that in. Let's go ahead and mount that in real quick, like so. And it should snap in really. And let me try again. And my camera doesn't want to focus, but let me do this off camera. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Okay, I see. So it looks like there's a tab here I should have known. To remove this tab, there's a little, lock, a little locking mechanism there. So we're gonna insert the flash drive one more time. Let's see if I can do it. Why not, looking at the camera. There we go. And I'm not sure why my camera's not zooming in today, but there we go. So we have it mounted in there. And now we're gonna add the lock right here. And it looks like that spins around. Let me try here real quick. And let's see if I could reach it here. Let's see. And maybe not. I guess you I guess just push it down. Okay, guys, I am back. So it looks like after a few minutes of struggling and finally uh, reading the manual, so there was a lock to put in place here. Let me see if I can get my camera to zoom in. So that lock right there, that lock right there had to be put in place. It holds the SSD drive down. 
There's also some adhesive in the back that keeps it down, but looks like we have it in place. If I get my camera to focus in, so it looks like it's locked in place. So we're gonna put the closure back on and see if it, see if it works. So let's uh, try this real quick. It looks like double check, everything is locked down. So we slide it back in, snaps in. I think we're ready. So not sure, I think my Android phone, the Pixel supports OTG. So we wanna plug one end into the USB-C port here, like so. And let's uh, grab my Android. And we should be able to see our drive here. Plug into the bottom. And I'm not gonna format it now, but let's see. Yep, tap to set up. So it sees the drive. It wants to format. I guess I go ahead and format it. That was pretty quick. And let's see our storage. Let's explore. That looks pretty good. And I want to get the info. And let's see if we get the info on this drive. But here we go. Storage settings. Look at that. So we're using 1.3 megabytes out of one terabyte total. Looks pretty good. I think we're good to go. At the end, there is an LED indicator. So there's an LED indicator indicating power going to the device. It does work with my mobile Android phone. Again, this is the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And I think we're good to go. Oh, I should have safely ejected that, but oh well, I'm gonna format it again for my Linux box. But overall, it feels pretty good. This is gonna be my main drive to go as these other ones are already full. So what do you guys think? Are you like this? Carrying multiple flash drives. Definitely give this a try from Western Digital Black, the NVMe SSD drive, and the extra external closure. But I think we're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Round the Geek. See ya.